there's something going on. I know someone from there, and there's these urban legends. These Tandanaga youth are hyped about their win. A year ago, they created this trailer with the Road to Freedom traveling film crew. It gained a lot of support from the community and won with over 1,600 votes. Jonas McCourt said he was shocked. When he told us there's like 30 other communities, I was gonna say I was a little nervous. And then when we went up to Toronto, he showed us some of the other ones. And there were like a lot of really, really good ones that I thought were like, had a really good shot at winning. For the past 10 years, the Road to Freedom crew has traveled to First Nations across the country, inspiring youth to try out every area of filmmaking. According to Kyle Nobes, it's the first horror film festival the Road to Freedom has organized, and it's been a huge hit. And being horror genre, I know it sounds crazy, but it, it, it just seems to be the most fun. Like, it, I, I think there's there, it's such a wide range of creativity that can happen in that. And uh, from special effects and makeup and everything, right, to camera, to acting. And so it, it kind of, it's able to bring out all of their creativity, you know. 12-year-old Naya Snyder played one of the witches in The Girl in the White Dress. Snyder says all aspects of the two-day workshop were fun. What we did really was like when we were making my costume, we had to like go outside and like burn little like holes and stuff into the dress and like get it all dirty. And that was awesome. The winning prize is the opportunity for the youth to expand their trailer to a feature film, something Shyla one. Sears is looking is forward really, to. Like, for me personally, I want to be an actress, you know, one day. And I think it's really good, you know, for us as young people to have this experience and for this to come to our community, right? The youth will work on their film over the summer and plan to submit it in another film festival competition. Anna Francis, APTN National News, Tandanaga, Mohawk Territory.